we're moving. Wait, hold on. What? It's true. For the past month, me and my flatmate Louise have been looking for flats in London. I go to uni here, Louise goes to the same uni as I do. It's been a super stressful process handling moving out and finding a flat and doing all the things that comes with finding an apartment during uni and dealing with it in a pandemic. So happy news, I'm taking you guys along for the next, I think, like month, month and a half on this new series that I call Maddie's Moving. I'll be taking you guys along searching for a new flat, moving in, decorating, organizing, shopping, the whole month. So I highly recommend you subscribing so that you don't miss a single video from the Maddie's Moving series. Also, my name is Maddie, I go to university in London and I do lifestyle videos here on my channel. And please, please, please make sure to thumbs up this video if you like it because I've never done a similar video in the past before. Please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you guys like it. That's all, let's get into this video. showing you all the flats that we visited. Let me just quickly establish why I'm moving and what I'm looking for in an apartment. So first things first, why am I moving? So I'm obviously my new place right now, which is a flat, but before that I was living in student halls. Like I loved my first year living in student halls. I think it was really, really fun. But my second year, I think it was much more difficult. I lived in my own little studio and we had facilities in the building that we were able to use. We couldn't really talk to anyone or like see anyone because that was allowed because of the COVID rules and England went through a lot of lockdowns in the past year we had our tier system it was a mess and then we had our full first lockdown in November and then we had our second lockdown from December which like still kind of is on I guess basically my whole second year it's been in and out of lockdowns and for the most part I haven't been able to have visitors in my studio at all and if I've had it's been like my social bubble one person which I said to my boyfriend who lives abroad and then I just realized that like living alone was not just the best thing for my mental health. I just really wanted to live with people and I just really miss seeing people and like, I don't know, not being alone all the time. So instead of my contract being from September to September, it instead was from September to April because I got another person to take over the rest of my contract and that may be able to move now. Also another reason, I was going to move out to another flat later anyway. Like I wanted to live in a flat with friends in my third year. So this is kind of just like an early, you know, moving, I guess, doing the process a bit earlier. Next is apartment credit. I had a lot of apartment criteria and I think going into that in London is a bad idea and also like the rental market here moves insanely quickly. I think I cried twice because there were two flats that we wanted that got taken before we even got to view them. You know the pandemic it moves quickly. So my criteria was natural light as any YouTuber will tell you it's really important. Uh, wood floors, walking distance to uni that can be five minutes, that can be 25 minutes as long as it's like in that radius. Safe and friendly street. There are a lot of sketchy streets in London and as a girl I think we all have to think about the fact that you don't want to be walking alone in a dark alleyway you're going to be going home at 2am once or twice four times 20 times I don't know and I think London is a very scary city sometimes it can be super safe but it can also sometimes be scary people get stabbed people get raped it happens so for me and Louise that was super important like have a safe street that's residential or having someplace just feel safe that's not up like a sketchy alleyway high standard bathrooms it's so funny because like if you're from abroad you might think that a lot of thoughts have a like all have a really high standard you'll be surprised like the standards here you really have to be picky to like get a nice flat also we wanted a decent standard indoors it doesn't have to be brand new but at least you know not too long ago and ideally a dishwasher and that was the last thing on my list a lot of the flats we viewed actually didn't have a dishwasher it's quite rare but it would have been a plus because if you're having friends over when you know after the 17th of May it's gonna be possible and so we really wanted the dishwasher to be able to have people over I think the lucky thing for us in this whole process was that we did it throughout a pandemic because London rental prices you can get end up in like a bidding war to have a flat. You can get better deals when not a lot of people are looking. Anyway, with that being said, let's take it back to me and my flatmates first, second, third viewing because they were all in the same apartment building. Okay, me and Louise are seeing our first, I think two, there might be three flats today. The flats that we'll be seeing today are all in the same apartment building and you know, it's a very new one, it's reasonably refurbished, but we're gonna test the windows, we're gonna test See if it has a dishwasher. It's not too far away from where I currently live. It's like 20, 30 minutes walking. So same area and for London at least. So this is flat number one. It's the tiniest one I think they have. It's the lower level as well. And so like this is the view that you have. It's a bit of a sad view, I think. I don't think this will be the one. And also it's very dark because it's the bottom floor of the building. Got the bedroom, little closet. Another little bedroom in here. 
tiny little bathroom. It's actually quite tiny. <laughs> and then downstairs. Coucou, ça va? <laughs> and then kitchen area. I mean, this kitchen is a very odd shape. Don't you agree? Not this one, I think. Flat number two. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, you have this room, which is the bigger room with its own kind of private bathroom. <laughs> Hello, Louise. You have a little closet. This isn't furnished, but we could probably get it furnished. You have this whole space for a bed. And you have this little step up for a little bathroom. It's actually quite a nice bathroom. It's all recently done. Looks like so. A little bit of drawer space as well, which is always nice. Does it even open? Yeah, it does. You walk down the little steps. And then you have another bedroom. This has space for like a smaller bed. We also thought about putting in a little desk in that area. And then another little bathroom. Louise, this bathroom has a bathtub. It's a bit annoying with the door and the sink behind. Oh yeah. But oh yeah. Yeah, this is like a student bathroom from but We're used to it, but it would be nice if it opened the other way. We have a little stairway down. Then we have a very nice furnished, nicely <laughs> done kitchen. You could put a little dining table here. And then you have a full space. Look at that, guys. A little terrace. <laughs> it's not even a terrace. You have like a little out view. That, I think, is the border. There's not a lot of space in the living room, but it's definitely doable. How would we put the sofa? That's the question. Like here. This is a nice Yeah. Last flat that we're viewing today. This has a little walk up. So you walk in and this is the first bedroom. It has a tiny closet and it barely fits the bed. And you see the door opens to the bed as well. Louise, what's that noise? Do you hear it? Is it the bathroom? I think it might be. It's quite a small one, but it does have a shower. As you can tell. <laughs> The same like cupboard space. We have a bedroom. We have a bathroom, a bed. This is a nice little bedroom though, with a nice closet size. Are you test sitting the sofa? You're testing all the furniture? Yeah, I like the big The thing is, this is facing north. She so wouldn't get any sun. But yeah, it has the same cupboard space, everything. The thing about this living room is it's much better spaced out. This is something we could take inspiration for in the other flat down below. Guys, <laughs> this building even has a lift. Exciting. <laughs> okay, we just finished the viewing. Overall, what I felt about all the flats where they felt a bit like a dollhouse, if that makes sense. From the pictures online, you know, they're all taken with this like wide angle lens. And it's just like the layout of the flat, it looked good online, but because it was such a small space, a complicated layout that like you have a hallway then you have a room then you have another room it's very cute and we could like i see myself living there but what me and louise agreed on is that you know she has to work at home in the summer and i do as well it might get a bit small because of the reduced covid prices as well we're getting this for like 50 pounds cheaper a week than we had originally planned which means we could technically go 50 pounds up and get something a lot bigger and a lot more roomy and where we wouldn't like feel you know entrenched in this little dollhouse everything was painted white but it still felt a bit dark that is what we're up to now we're seeing another flat hopefully on monday or tuesday thing is that flat is or was about 50 pounds of our budget if the landlord agrees to get that property down to about 50 pounds less a week then we'd be able to afford it hopefully fingers crossed the landlord will accept our you know proposed price because we're moving in in 18 days from today i'll get back to you guys in the next viewing which maybe will be that flat or maybe another one. We'll see. Okay, so this is flat number. I think we're on four now. It's very, very pretty. We have a huge kitchen area and a little seating area as well. A little like couch area. I love these. What is it like? Not cupboards, but like shelving units on this side. It's very nice. And I have a lot of decorations in my room currently as well. It also has a washing, no, a dishwasher. <laughs> I haven't had in any London flat before. We actually have like a couple of hidden storage units as well. There's this little shelving room, with the boiler and stuff. And then we have a little washing machine, a little room in here. It's nicely hidden and it's really nice to have like a full room for it as well. The master bedroom, which has a full like 
I think it's like a queen size bed, so that's super nice. A little desk area, full closet area, and this is all like done inside as well. You have actually this all, like all this build up inside, or like buildings, I don't know what it's called, inside the closet, so you don't have to think about that. And then there is the bathroom, and this flat actually has two bathrooms. First we have this one, which has a bathtub, toilet, wash, little like towel warmer, a bunch of storage here and there and then we have the second bedroom looks like this very nicely done as well you probably fit a desk in here too the same kind of closet area but it's a bit smaller so this room is like i think maybe a square meter or two square meters smaller but it also has its own like bathroom which is this one and that's it for the bathroom <laughs> So can you guess which flat we ended up in? We chose the last one, the final one. It was a little bit outside our budget, but we got the price down, I think, 20 pounds or 25 pounds a week, um, which was half of what we asked for, but it's still quite a good deal because it's already been reduced, I think, with like 30 pounds a week before that. So we got a really good price, um, still a little bit outside our budget, but we just loved the location. We loved the street. We loved everything about this flat. So we decided it was worth it and go a little bit above our budget. So yeah, welcome to my new home and Louise's new home, which we'll be leaving together for the next 12 months, which will be very exciting and fun. And I just love the flat so much. It's honestly, yeah, it's a really good place. I'm gonna stop this video right here because I'm gonna keep you excited and ready for the moving in vlog. I'm not gonna share any more of this flat before then. So stay tuned, put on post notifications. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this apartment viewing video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.